your favorite piece in the show? This is one of my very favorite pieces because it took a long time to make. It had a dead Viet Cong soldier, no, a dead Arvin, the Army Republic Vietnam soldier on the ground. Part of it is on the bottom of this canvas. And it was hanging in my studio for a year, two years. I was going to work with another artist in Chicago about finishing up together as a combination, a dead soldier, which he had seen as a Marine with the dusty eyes <clears throat> in the sunset. And that was an idea that was there for a couple of years before I decided to paint over it. And then when I did, I used some of the color that I had started thinking about and then had calculations by this time in my wall series, 155. This was the 155th calculation that I used, which is a Polaroid images that were put together in such a way that they were painted from before. So this is a record of painting activity from before. Also, it's a reflection of some of the time I went back to Vietnam in 1994 to Ha Long Bay on a trip with American and Vietnamese artists. We had a show in Hanoi and President and General Jap even saw the show. He was a big general in the French war. Mm -hmm. He was a famous person. But he, he came to see the show. But all of these uh, images come from reality and become symbols of a reality I lived in. For example, this arch here would be at Halong Bay, where we took a tour through Vietnam as a group of people, 14 people, and we went up to the Helong Bay as part of the tour. And during that time, I became reignited with all the spirits and dragons and ideas of Vietnam. This Helong Bay is near Hong Kong at the North Vietnamese part of the country. And it is where the dragon came from India and flew over Vietnam and dropped into, dove into the Bay of Ha Long Bay. And the <clears throat> dragon is a friendly dragon in Vietnam. In Europe, it's a, a fire beast, very dangerous thing. But in Vietnam, it is a good luck thing. And in the Orient, and anyhow, in, in the East. But when the dinosaur went into the ocean or into the bay, it made some <clears throat> pinnacles like razor bat, uh, like hills from a dime, uh, di uh, back of a dinosaur or mm -hmm. something like mm -hmm. that. Gotcha. And while it went into the bay, then it fertilized the bay with its eggs and out came some koi, goldfish. And those goldfish symbolized in here, in the painting, become future dragons, part of the whole lore of Vietnam. And this is how long bay and it goes into the South China Sea, which is in part of the world right now as a big thing. And in this painting also, I have the concept of the mariner uh, going down into the ocean. The mariner drops down here, and I have here a dead Viet Cong, and it has banana leaves wrapped on it as a dead burial situation. So this is like the mariner, the ancient mariner. And in here up above is like junks from the 
ports of the sea. And these kinds of junks were all over the Halong Bay, and it's very romantic. This is the Ch South China Sea, and it is always part of my life because I went over that in an aircraft carrier as the OIC, officer in charge, and the captain of the aircraft carrier had me with him for evening meals, and he'd take me up to the tower and explain how he'd get through the San Bernardino Straits during the Second World War with the Japanese fleet escaping. It was a very romantic journey across the Pacific and into the South China Sea. We hit a typhoon, and the aircraft with all the the aircraft carrier with all the aircraft, they were from Australia, they are from all different kinds of places besides our 20 helicopters. And it was tilting at about a 30 degree angle. It was really something. And one of the men that was with me cautioned me how we should react to being captured and not giving out any information. And he took me aside as the lieutenant and he was an old time uh, Guamanian who defended his island against the Japanese invasion. He was a prisoner of the Japanese until he escaped. And then he guided the Americans through Guam when they took the island back. And he became a pilot for Howard Hughes. And he was my buddy. He was my warrant officer and I'm going to battle with him. And so he warned me, he took me aside in a typhoon and we were sitting right next to the water. He told me how not to give up any information. So all this stuff is in the painting. When I see it, I know all the feelings I had. That's symbolic to me, very exciting. And this black here, ominous, could it be death? But in the Orient, in the Eastern world, it's life. It's also the black pajamas. It's also night. It's also mourning, M-O-U-R-N. Mourn for the dead. Mourning for the dead of both sides, not just one side, for all sides. Just mourning for the grief of death of all the, all the warriors of the East side. Life. But in Vietnam, white, this is the horizon of, this, of the ocean, of the South China Sea. However, at the same time, it's also death in the East. Black is life in the East, death is white in the East. To us, black is death. So it's a very interesting symbolic painting for me.